And I got home and I pulled up all the photos and I found 700 amazing priceless family photos. The only problem is these priceless family photos are not hers. Laura's friend found this memory card on Ossington near Argyle. Now the hunt is on to find the family who has lost these treasured mementos. I'm kind of dating to somewhere in like the late 70s or early 80s. Is there one person that's the thread for all of these? Yeah, so this man in the photo, most of the photos are with him. You see Trinity Bellwoods, you see some really nice side streets. Um, all the buildings look a little different. It's become nearly an obsession for Laura to find this family. She's been studying each picture to see if she can pick up any clues. The side street looks very similar to some of the streets near the Ossington area. So I'm thinking maybe since it was dropped at Ossington and Argyle, maybe the family lives nearby. The problem is that the homes in the pictures look like so many of the homes here on the streets around Trinity Bellwoods. And if you take a look at them, those that look similar often have been updated since the time of the pictures. So the photos may be nearly impossible to recognize. A drive through the streets leads to many hopeful sites, similar pillars, but then the missing window. Get the window right, but the neighboring house is wrong. Even those who have lived in the neighborhood for 40 years were stumped. No, 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 not at all, no. Looks like the house is around here though, right? Probably, yeah, but it's long, long years yeah. ago, yeah. There looks like a little, the little boy looks like Portuguese too. I am Portuguese. Yeah. Man, hmm. I'm not sure, sorry about that. Laura's hoping someone will see this story or her post on social media and recognize the family. Assume that somebody was making some sort of archive of all these moments and they're probably heavily missed. If you would like to take a closer look at many more of these photos, you can do so by going to our website, citynews.ca. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.